you like it first? It was specially made first for you. Sans, this is the same jacket you give me every year, except you sewed hot dogs onto it. You just want to believe it? <laughs> The pie is ready. Go! Oh, I'm starving. Thanks, Mom. Hey. You can take some too. No thanks. I'm not interested in eating trash. Why oh, really? Because my pie has always been your favorite. That's real. Wait. How did you know? Because a mother always knows. What's up, bro? Hey, Pappy. Ah, bye, bro. Bye, Pappy. Where are you going? Uh, by the flamethrower. I'm going to train with Alfie. I saw a spider. Ah, what a nice day. Uh, what's today, anyway? Oh no, that means... Sans! Why so surprised, bro? What are you... doing... today? I guess you could say, I may act a bit... foolish? <laughs> I need you to go to the end of that hallway, my child. Ready, set, go! Oh, Lordy! Hey! Get back here! Sans, what are you doing? I'm measuring your patience. <laughs> Sans, Sans, eat this spaghetti. I'm sure that you will like it. Oh, yeah, bro. All right then, I'll try it. Here you go. Nice. Let's have a taste. It's a little sweet. Huh? Yes. The Great Papyrus has finally fooled you, Sans! This was no ordinary spaghetti, but it was made out of gummies! You are the fool this time, Sans! I have bested you yet again! Bested by the Great Papyrus! Spaghetti made out of gummies, huh? It was sweet of you to make that for me! You gummy good! We really glue closer from this. I also swapped the ketchup with hot sauce. <laughs> Why? It burns. <laughs> this steak shaped like Metaton's face is weirding me out. I think it just winked at me. Ah, uh, bro. It's just happy to meet you. Oh my god. How could you? Sorry, was that a mistake? Sans, don't you dare. Well... You know what they say about steak jokes. Sans, no! They're a rare medium well done. Hey, Papyrus, can you get the cinnamon for me? Sure. Uh, what do you need it for? I'm baking something. Cinnamon isn't very good on spaghetti. I'm not making spaghetti. You do know there is food other than spaghetti, right? I'll be back soon, Sans. I'm taking Frisk to school. Well, mm. I guess you ought to... Spaghetti out of here. <laughs> Don't get saucy with me, Sans. <laughs> sure is nice of Undyne to invite us over for a picnic, gay eh, Papyrus? I hope she made lots of spaghetti! <laughs> Who the f cooked the 
this sh I demand to see the chef! I am the chef, the great papyrus! So, did you like my spaghetti, Mr. Ramsay? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. It, it was the best pasta I, I ever ate. And in today's cooking show, we'll be making spaghetti. What? And I, the great papyrus, what? will be the one to teach you all in today's beautiful show. Get out of my... You add them to the water, and then leave them, and then add a pinch of salt to it. <laughs> oh, uh. Sans, tell the audience what we're making today. Spaghetti. <laughs> Sans, I'll give you the honor of telling the first step. All right, let's talk spices. You're going to need to properly preserve and store your selected spices. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Sans? <laughs> Sans? 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 <laughs> hey, bro. Yes, my brother. So, have you ever used any bofa in your spaghetti? Sans, I am surprised at you. As a self-respecting chef, of course I use a bunch of fresh anchovies in every dish. Uh, sorry, bro. That's all right, Sans. Besides, Bofa is much better for spaghetti than up dog. What is up dog? Not much. What's up with you? Don't be upsetty. Have some spaghetti! So, your dad's the royal scientist, huh? That rules! Oh, yeah. He's the coolest. <laughs> I bet he knows everything! Speak of the devil? Chats! Where are my gym jams and doohickeys? Shoes are in the drawer, jams are in the what's it. As I suspected! Take your brother, yeah. put the fridge in the groceries. I've had a eureka moment, which I must get down to blueprint. But all of my paper are neither print nor blue. To the lab! <laughs> a regular Doc Brown, ain't he? Wow. I don't know. I don't usually drink. A little wine never hurt anyone, Gaster. You'll be fine. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred oh, men or Gaster, more could ever do. Right I bless the rain down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things I never had. Metaton Monday. <laughs> Metaton? What is it, darling? Where is my battle body? What? Where is my battle body? Why do you need to know? My shining star, please! I need it! Oh no, darling! Don't you think about running after the human! We've been planning this day for two months! The underground is in danger! My evening's in danger! You tell me where my battle body is, Mena! We are talking about the greater good! Greater good? I am your husband! I am the greatest good you are ever gonna get! Now sit your bony ass down! We are having this dinner, and you are gonna like it!
I took 2P with me when I left. 1S was too agitated to safely open the cell without chancing his escape. And I was... not at full strength. I locked 2P in a room alone while I recuperated. Normally isolation is a punishment, but this time I... wanted some time to myself. 2P was already upset when we left, and being left alone for so long did no favors. Are you mad at us? Please don't hurt him. Don't hurt my brother. He didn't mean to, I swear. I'm not angry. Come on. Really? You aren't... mad at him? I would have done the same in his place. I'm in no position to judge. I should have been more careful. Are you... mad at me? Such a fragile state would lead to usual comforting on his return. Or so I thought. This time, though... Brother? How could you do that? Things did not go as usual. He... he was hurt, I... We could have escaped. We could have got out of here, and you threw it away for him! Well, what was I supposed to do? Let him die? It's not like he doesn't deserve it after everything he's done to you. You should have died. If I was the one out there, I would have... You... You would have... <sighs> How could you? How could you let someone... How could you choose him over me? They did not say any more. When I checked on them before I left, I saw for the first time that they were sleeping apart. I'd long assumed that the bond they developed was unbreakable, only strengthened under duress. Anything to drive them apart would only bring them closer together. It appears I was wrong.